Okay, so this is a combination here of lesson 11 and lesson 12. So right here is where lesson 12 comes into play. And this is from the problem set of lesson 12. Um, couldn't tell you the page number. I folded it all under. But we're going to get uh, two, of this, two of these lessons in one. It all deals with volume. So we've already done volume a little while ago. So now we're just going to take it and we're just going to take it back into the fraction world. You learned in science, length times width times height. Same formula, volume equals LWH. Um, we know that volume is whatever label you have. It's got a three power to it because it's a three-dimensional shape. So we're just going to set this up. We're going to get into the fraction world and we're going to do the best we can about getting our answers. Um, it's not going to be easy when they're dealing with fractions, but these are the kind of problems you're going to see. And then when we get down to question two, I'll move it down because I put a little space down here. So length, we have nine. Uh, width, we have one and a third. And height, we have four and two thirds. Now, if these were fractions that I could easily make into decimals, I would be in the decimal world before I hung out in the fraction world. But either way, I still have to make improper fractions. So three times one is three plus one is four. So this is four thirds. And this is 12, 13, 14 thirds. And then we have times nine, which is over one. So you guys like to go, a lot of you like to go straight across multiplication. So if we're going to go straight across multiplication, that means we're going to be going 9 times 4 times 14, which 9 times 4 times 14 is going to be 504 over 1 times 3 is 3, 3 times 3 is 9. So we're going to have this big, very top-heavy number, which then in turn we're going to have to bring it over here and we're going to have to divide it so we can actually get into this number, which is not really bad. So we're going to go in five times to make 45. And then that's going to go in nicely to make six times to make 54. So either way, our volume equals 56 inches cubed um, after everything is all said and done. Now, that one wasn't as bad as what some of them can be. But here we go. This one's a little different. This one, we have... Volume equals length times width times height. Now, follow me here. It says the area of the base of the rectangular prism is this. So that's the area of the base. So if we look at a rectangular prism, what that means, the area of the base of it means this whole thing. So they just told me the length the width, and there's the height. So they just told me the answer to the length times the width. So this right here is four and three fourths. It's like they did the math already for me for that bottom, but my height is two and a third. Okay. So now I already have this answer because told me the area of the base. That's length times width. Remember area length times width. And we have to times this by two and a third. So now 16, 17, 18, 19, six, seven thirds. Nothing's friendly to each other. Bottom is 12. And now we have to figure out the top. I usually go for the easier piece first, which is 133 when we do that. And then we actually just do the math. So I'm just going to go 133 divided by 12, going once, 13 leftovers. So our answer to this is 11. And remember when we did this, 11 and 1 twelfth, it's feet squared because the label told us. Now, sometimes they even give you the volume of something you might have to work backwards, but that's what we have. It's just volume equals length times width times height. You just got to read, make sure they either give you length times width times height numbers, or if they say area of the base, the area of the base it's another way of looking at it as the base is already length times width, the big B. Um, in high school, you'll see this formula a lot. Volume equals big B H, which in other words is just length times width times height. 
And as always, I love math. Sorry about the long video yesterday. Made up for it today.